Camera selfie! Well, what's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome SOLIDWORKS tutorial where I'll be showing you how to use SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing to create awesome stuff like this infinity mirror. Ooh, fancy. So this is a very basic optical illusion where you use a one-way mirror um, and a normal mirror to bounce light in between the two mirrors to create the optical illusion that it is a long tunnel. This is a feature that's used in a lot of special effects and movie making as well as like horror houses and a lot of visual effects um, to create long corridors and really cool things. So it's a very common trick used and this is a very simple desktop one that you can make at home. So let's get into how I made this awesome infinity mirror. So here we are in SOLIDWORKS 2017. I start off by creating the glass and then creating a little frame which I then sweep all the way around in the mirror to make the second. I made a little box at the back because that's where we're going to house the battery. Here I'm just making a little lip so that we can get the frame to sit really nicely. I then cut away a little corner so that I can allow the wiring from the LED strip inside the frame to go to the back of the battery box. I start creating the kind of like cavity area of where I wish to have the battery. I started off with this basic design but as I was as I went through it I wasn't entirely happy with it and I started to change it this is where I begin to change it and just make it slightly larger I then exported all the parts for 3d printing all of these parts are being printed in a Matter Hackers Pro PLA on the Ultimaker 2. Now, as technology is sometimes our best friend, but sometimes isn't, I unfortunately lost the footage of the frame being printed for this specific project. So to start off, I cleaned the glass to put on the one-way reflective mirror film. So just clean the glass, wipe it down, get rid of as much grease as possible. Try not to break the glass like I did. Then spray on some soapy water, put on your um, film, and just wipe away the moisture underneath with a simple card. Get the edges all neat and tidy. I then took an X-Acto knife and just kind of trimmed off the excess around the edge. Be careful as these knives are very sharp as I look. Look at that face. I then gently peeled away as to not allow it to peel off the actual glass and just got rid of the excess around the edge. Ta-da! I did need to clean it up afterwards a little bit. Unfortunately for this project, Technology Gremlins attacked me twice. I lost the footage of the assembly of this one. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I actually assemble this. So obviously these two frame pieces were split down the middle, so it's two pieces. And you got the back over here, and then the battery sits underneath. So to assemble this, I took this half, I slid a piece of glass into it. I then put the other frame on the top and I glued them here. I then lay it down flat, I lined the LED strip on the inside and then I put the other piece of glass on the back. Once the two mirror planes were in place, I then threaded the LED strip through there and as you can see into the battery box over here. So the battery box fits in there neatly. The cables go there and that will allow our little battery lid 
to simply fit over there and screw on either side. So that is a basic roundup of how I assembled this awesome. That is a basic roundup on how I assembled this awesome infinity mirror. Well, I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from how to make an infinity mirror. Now, you can take this knowledge and create all sorts of different shapes and all, just, all sorts of different ideas from this. This is a very basic design. The idea is to inspire you to make awesome stuff and would love to see that in the future. I should really breathe. If you have any questions about what I made, anything I want to make, or anything you would like to see me make, leave them down in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to like this video and we'll see you guys soon.